Kingsville, Texas, population 26,000, county seat of Clayburg, 40 miles southwest of Corpus Christi, home of the Mighty Bramas. It all started with St. Louis, Brownsville, and Mexico Railway. Chartered on June 6, 1903, the St. Louis, Brownsville, and Mexico Railway was a 200-mile railroad that operated from Brownsville, Texas to Gulf Coast Junction in Houston, Texas. Henrietta King designed a large tract of the King Ranch to be opened for sale, half of which was deeded to a construction company to induce it to build the line. In 1903, Robert Justice Clayburg, manager of the ranch, organized the Clayburg Town and Improvement Company to sell the land for Mrs. King and the railroad construction company. A surveyor was hired to lay out the town site three miles east of the headquarters of the King Ranch. The community was then named Kingsville after Richard King. A short time later, the tracks reached the site. On July 4, 1904, the first regular passenger train went through the community, and the citizens had a big celebration. A post office was also established in 1904. After considerable negotiation with the town leaders, railroad officials decided to locate their headquarters in the community, and the general office building and shops were constructed. By the last part of 1906, Kingsville was a home of 25 permanent employees of the railroad and their families. The railroad facilities were expanded in subsequent years, and by 1931, 500 people were working on the railroad and made up one-third of the population of the town. The railroad was a main source of income for Kingsville, and the establishment of the railroad headquarters in Kingsville brought new residents. By 1912, the population was 4,000. In 1930, it had risen to 6,815, of whom 2,000 were Mexican Americans and 524 were African Americans. Many of the first businesses were established by the King Ranch, which built a hotel, an ice plant, a waterworks, and a cotton gin, and started weekly newspapers. Kingsville became a trade center for farm and ranch families. Many of the farmers ran dairies and sold large quantities of cream to a local creamery. In 1911, the community was incorporated and a charter was adopted providing the commission form of city government. In 1913, Kingsville became the county seat of a newly organized Clayburg County. Exploration for oil began shortly after the town was founded, and in 1920, the first producing oil well was discovered nearby. In addition, natural gas was founded on a farm southwest of the town, and a pipeline was laid to Kingsville that provided gas for residents and businesses. In 1921, residents raised $100,000 to build a cotton mill that employed 175 workers. In 1925, the opening of South Texas Teachers College encouraged more people to come to Kingsville. The college increased its educational scope in 1929, when its name was changed to Texas College of Arts and Industries. In 1993, this institute became Texas A&M University of Kingsville. Kingsville grew slowly during the 1930s. By 1939, the population was 7,200. The city received a significant stimulus in 1942, when Kingsville Naval Auxiliary Station, later the Naval Air Station, was opened. At one time during World War II, personnel at the base numbered between 6,000 and 7,000. In 1944, the Selenese Corporation put in operation its plant five miles north of Kingsville. Most of its employees decided to live in Kingsville. The city suffered a setback when the naval base was closed in 1946, but in 1951 it was reactivated. The new influx of Navy personnel stimulated the local economy. In the early 1950s, the railroad closed its general offices and shops, but Kingsville soon recovered from this reversal. The expansion of the economy continued, and the population rose steadily. The community's growth was due in part of the relocation of the district offices of Humble Oil, now known as Exxon. The population of Kingsville rose from 16,857 in 1950 to 28,711 in 1970, partly because of the prosperous petroleum industry and the rising enrollment at the college, a decline in enrollment at the university, a close of the district offices at Exxon in 1985, and the depressed condition of the petroleum industry were the most important factors 
regarding the city's growth. In 1985, the population of Kingsville was 29,949, and by 1990, the number of residents had fallen to 25,276. The population was 25,575 in 2000. 